Hey everybody. So this is going to be for Capricorn. Uh, I've decided to do a little bit different reading for May. Basically the way that this breaks down, I like change by the way. Um, I understand some people don't, so it would be really helpful considering these readings are for you to let me know what you think about it, you know? I, I would appreciate your opinion um, and take it wholeheartedly. So anyway, the point of the story is this card represents um, <clears throat> your what your inner child needs is like what it needs to say to you. This is your present self and your future self. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is part of your ego that you need to uh, part of your ego that you need to drop. This is your strength during this time, and this is the advice. So here we go, Capricorn. Inner child, present self future self you know I don't read these in the reversal but it came out that way so I'm gonna leave it for now uh, this is what your ego needs to drop the part of your ego that you need to drop your strength during this time and the advice okay very interesting Capricorn Okay, in ways of your inner child, um, you've actually done a lot of healing emotionally um, about some pain of the past, but there's still a little bit of residue um, that you will probably like sort out the most efficiently through meditation as well as through your dreams. You need to start writing down your dreams. I know I've been telling everybody that a lot lately, but it's super important what our subconscious uh, is handling for us. We should be gracious to that. Because it seems that, um, it, you know, this card sometimes can represent surrender. <clears throat> so if there is any residue, but maybe you don't know how to process it, or you thought that you already dealed with it, uh, you dealt with it already, it's showing you that there's still just a little bit of sediment. It's not anything super heavy. It's just like ensuring that you really understand what happened. This one story on the bottom is like sticking out to me. Like you, you, you need to, your inner child is saying that when you go to sleep at night, um, it's good to know your own inner truth to really feel solid about where you are now and that you've sorted out the past. Also, I see here with this like, uh, there's something about God or like, um, perhaps religion wasn't a big thing in your family uh, or for some of you religion wasn't a big thing in your family and now you're starting to incorporate it into your life more recently than not maybe um, since last year this time for some of you um, for others of you it's where religion was a part of your life and that actually caused you part of your pain um, or misunderstanding in yourself now, the present self, um, like you're able, uh, your present self is probably working really hard, um, <clears throat> and you're considering like your finances and where you are and how you're going to afford everything and... Um, but you're handling it. You really are. It's a little unstable, or you think it's a little unstable, but I don't necessarily see it that way. I might pull a clarifier on that. We'll see as we go along. Now, your future self. I'm interested in this. I don't put these cards, particularly this deck, in reverse. Um... Your future self is telling you you need to be creative in a different way for some of you. Um, there's also something about four and six June. Some of you aren't going to have sex till like June. I know it's super specific, but like sexuality maybe and creation may, what you're creating right now is not, 
in ways of sexuality, like, even within yourself, like, it's, it's not necessarily blocked, it's just, like, your future self isn't focused so much on, um, you know, maybe sex used to be, maybe something of sex has to do with this inner child, like, why you do it, how you do it, with who, um, things of that nature. I hope everybody's 18 plus. I mean, not that we, most of us don't have sex before then, but it's a natural process. We all do it, even plants. Um, now, what your ego needs to drop. You have two aces here. It shows me that you have a lot of blessings in your life right now. What your ego needs to drop. There's something... I just keep hearing career. I want a clarifier on this because... Well, I just heard your own <clears throat> self-worth. Like, what you're capable of... Uh, what you're capable of... What you're capable of, like, doing within your own... The way that you make money. Like, there... Yeah, the... It's like, for those of you who are, like, tr trying to... Yeah, your choices in your career. There's something, again, cho like, choices. Um... Maybe you don't recognize your own self-worth and what you're able to attain because of the bad relationships that you had in the past because maybe for some of you, like, whenever you did become vulnerable with somebody and actually just, like, lay here and, like, have these swords, like, be right atop of you, like, that's a dangerous position, you know? Like, it's not really the safest place to do it. But uh, maybe you were degraded by your partners in the past. Maybe they really broke you down or maybe even as it's touching this inner child as well, like, from your upbringing till now, there was some sort of um, diminishing of self-worth. Uh, and it's not true. It's not yours. It's just w somebody else's insecurities they put inside of you. And you can, you can let that go um, and understand that, like, again, I see these religious factors. It's like... It's important. Wow, I love how much lights on this lovers. It's like, bing. Okay, high priestess. This is your strength right now. Again, with your dreams. Um, your strength is that you. your intuition is probably pretty right on right now. You can see things for what they are. Um, you're not disillusioned by people masking, um, their negativity in, like, an external positive sense, like, you can see right through that shit. Um, there is an advice here, though, because the high priestess can involve, um, having a difficult time, like, expressing yourself externally, so I want to say if this is your strength, you're probably becoming better at that. And I think that the more you balance your own, um, yourself and your spirituality, which breaks down to faith, not only in God, but in yourself, you'll be able to express yourself better. Um, uh, even if you're just talking to yourself, like, about your own self-worth, especially being ne these two being next to each other. Now, the future, <laughs> the advice... Uh, I just kept, I kept, he, career, I heard again, um, there's something you're going to have to wait, you have to wait for something, um, you're gonna have to wait for something, I want to see on the Ace of Wands in reverse, that one? No. This one. Ace of Wands. Again, Major Arcana.
Yeah, there's something you have to <clears throat> your future self is going to be able if you if you can if you believe in yourself, your future self will actually be able to drop some baggage about some um negative sexual uh history. Because he's pointing at the past. It's like there's something there's some way you were going about your um especially with the lovers here. It's like the way that you <clears throat> maybe would have interactions with uh the way you started relationships like it was uh based in in sexuality. Like that's the foundation of it. And, you know, everybody knows, whether we admit it or not, that uh, physical connection is the last, it's the last and the least of the goals. It will always happen, no matter what, if you start something and that's the intention, you know, where you want to get to know someone better, you know, beyond a friend situation, sometimes even friends. But that shouldn't be the basis. You really want to get to know somebody. You really want someone to expose themselves before you have sex with them. So use your intuition about that because you'll end up being foolish and repeating mistakes of the past where you feel like you have to um it, it'll make you feel like, you know, go back to that place of feeling kind of apathetic and unsure and how am I going to find this new apartment and all this stuff? Now, again, I see I see sexuality, that kind of creation, relationships, and money. But as the king popped out and there's like this trifecta, it's like for the career aspect, you really need to meditate on what your inner child wants you to go back and talk to it about. Because most of the time, the ultimate career that a person wants to, that would be, they would be happy in as an adult is the first thing, like, if you go back and you remember something, whatever it is you remember doing, not what someone did to you, but what you remember doing that's positive, that made you happy, that's usually the job that you should do. Whether that would be tinkering with things, or drawing a picture, or uh, being around water, or looking out a window, like, whatever it is, there's something in there that's going to tell you what it is that you need to do. Because right now I see you unsure about how to, in the future, like what you're going to do. Because this is a blessing. It's a blessing of a brand new creation and a brand new passion. But right, your future self doesn't know right now. And it's afraid to like, it wants to just step forward, but it still consider, it needs to consider something about the past before it can move forward. Because your ego is also talking to you like, what do you think that you're worth? Like, if you go to start a new venture with something, whether that would be business or any kind of relation with somebody, like, you need to feel really empowered in that and believe that you are able to achieve all that you desire and in a really fruitful, amazing way where you know that each step that you're taking is, like, really guided by yourself, by your gut, by your mind, by your heart and soul because that, that's, you know, this world is programming us as humans to do tasks that we do not, that do not, they're not in tune with who we are. And that's why most people feel really unbalanced in life. That's why most people are on antidepressants and everything else, and we have all these problems. It's like, it's just because we're not doing what our true, you know, we don't, we're not taught to find our, and, and progress in our true inner passion. But it's possible. It's possible. Now, in relation to the career aspect, again, like, this king, what you're waiting, like, whatever your advice is, is to wait, is that, like, you go from the ace to the king. That's from one end of the spectrum to the other. Which shows me, once you figure out how to, whatever this is to turn this around, this ace of wands, like, you progress completely with expedience. Like, it's, you get there quick and you get there and a really you will be stable in the end game this is so blurry sorry there we go um you know this person is so <clears throat> capable and as i said stable and giving and caring and 
He loves home and he loves family. He also loves his alone time because he, not only does he grow for others, but he, he always makes sure that his own garden is tended. And if you notice, his whole um, uh, garment is made of these plants that he's grown. Like he is one with everything that he does. And he's really solid in who he is and what he's capable of. <coughs> so, in saying that, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> yeah, throat chakra, there's something, you need to start talking about your fears a little bit. Like, not where you're sitting around, like, crying, like, making a mess. It's not like that. Like, you want to be organized about it, but just, like, when you're talking with people, like, expose yourself. You know, in a way, like, let people in. Don't be, don't be blocked off like the high priestess. Look, there's an eyelash on the high priest. Make a wish. I love that the two of pentacles just scooted a little bit. That shows me that in the future, like, it pushed towards this. It's like, you're going to be able to balance this situation and turn this around. Absolutely. Okay. Wishing you the best, of course, Capricorn. Um, and let me know what you think about these. I'd really love to hear what you have to say. All right. Till next time.